Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and we are back with another video continuing from the previous one that was about the Redmi Note 9 but now let's talk about the chipset that it comes with. It's the MediaTek Helio G85. So we are going to talk about this particular chipset. How is this a good chipset for the budget devices or something under 10,000 rupees and how does it compare with the previous one that's the Redmi Note 8's processor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 platform. So actually if you talk about the Helio G series completely, the entire series with the moniker G is for gaming. So the Helio G90 powered the Redmi Note 9 Pro which was quite a wonderful chipset for gaming and it still is one of the best chipsets when we consider games like PUBG Mobile. If you are one of those players, you know that the chipset actually did quite a good performance though had it heating issues. Apart from that, the actual performance was quite good. Now. MediaTek moved on to come up with a couple of budget chipsets in the gaming category itself. It was G70, then the G80 as well. So those were budget chipsets and one of the phones, uh, the Realme C3, this came with the Helio G80 and this was the first phone to be powered by that. We felt a bit surprised at that point because for this price, getting those graphic options for gaming and getting a decent output for the graphics was quite good. But now the G85 comes as a successor, not as a full successor, but as a bit of a major change from there. The main change is with the GPU speed itself. Since it's completely based on gaming, there are obviously changes that would help in enhancing the gaming experience. So the GPU on the Helio G80 was 950 megahertz clock speed. On this one, the Mali G52 GPU was 950 megahertz of clock speed. Now the clock speed on the G85 GPU, it's the same GPU, it's the Mali G52 MC2 GPU on the G85 as well. But now the clock speed is one gigahertz. It's not 950 megahertz, it's a 50 megahertz extra, uh, which obviously even a little difference would make a lot of difference in some of the games. The response time changes, the way the graphics load also changes there. And MediaTek has included the Hyper Engine technology, uh, which is in in a way uh, a, a cluster of different things that would help enhance the gaming experience it would help reduce the latency or the or uh, the response time when you're trying to when you obviously won't try it but the phone tries to switch between the networks because of the network speeds there if there's a switch between wi-fi and data network the time in that switch is reduced because of this new hyper engine technology and apart from that uh, the calls that come in the background if you're playing a game and don't want to get disturbed the network doesn't get dropped when you're disconnecting the call so those things are well managed there and they are uh, all included as a part of the helio g85 that's the new chipset now to quickly compare this with the qualcomm snapdragon 665 chipset that was powering the redmi note 8 and a huge number of phones in the market the vivo u10 the realme 5 series and then the redmi note 8 and quite a few other phones as well the 665 was quite a famous chipset it was a mid-range one and coming from qualcomm there was a trust of this being quite good with the base performance and also with the support for the developers. So in a way, the 665 was not a bad chipset. But now if we compare the Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 with the Helio G85, the major difference is with the manufacturing process, it's 11 nanometer chipset while the Helio G85 is a 12 nanometer one. So if you don't know much about it, we won't go further deeper into that. So the battery efficiency depends on that manufacturing process. It's 11 nanometer versus 12 nanometer. And we could say that the Snapdragon 665 is a better battery efficient chipset when compared to the Helio G85. But in the mid range or in the budget phones as well, we have always seen the phones to be large enough to have uh, quite a heavy battery. So obviously the battery won't be a huge issue here. Apart from that, from uh, the cores aspect, the Helio G85 comes with eight cores in which there are two Cortex A75 cores clocking at two gigahertz and there are six Cortex A73 cores clocking at 1.8 gigahertz. While on the other side, uh, there are four performance cores and four battery efficient cores on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 665. So not a huge difference. Again, with the performance, obviously there will be some differences, but with the GPU, remember that even the Adreno 618 GPU on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G had a 500 megahertz clock speed. So obviously the Helio G85's uh, uh, GPU, that's the Mali G52 GPU is overpowered with that one gigahertz clock speed. So that's the major aspect of the Helio G85. We aren't really sure about the performance. I can't say that it's surely one of the best gaming chipsets in the mid range or the low mid range or the budget devices, but based on the specs, it's actually quite a good one. And we hope the Redmi Note 9 launches soon in India and then we can test it out because that's the only phone being powered by the MediaTek Helio G85 right now. But if 
we compare that with the Snapdragon 665, there are certain advantages in the 665, there are certain advantages in the Helio G85. And Xiaomi also mentioned that there was about 22% increase in the CPU performance and 32% increase in the GPU performance when compared to the Snapdragon 665. So that is one of the major changes or the major differences here. And with the benchmark scores as well, 1,70,000 was the score around that for Redmi Note 8 with the Snapdragon 665 and 2 lakh 5000 for the Redmi Note 9 with the Helio, Helio G85. So we won't obviously do a conclusion based on only the benchmark scores, but they do still matter to let you know of what the capability of the chipset is. So with the scores, you can clearly see that uh, the CPU score as well is better for the Helio G85, not just the GPU. So that's it for now in this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thanks for watching and see you next video.